Welcome to Window Clean Resource. I'm here with Troy Glandon, and we are going to put together the Zero Destroyer water fed pole, the stiffest water fed pole on the market, and we're going to bring it all the way up to 90 feet, show you how to put the modular scopic sections on after we extend the 40 foot telescopic pole, and we're just going to show you the whole entire process, show you it cleaning, and then show you how we take it apart so you guys can check that out. Here we go. Okay, so we have the 40 foot pole here. So this is a telescopic pole, and then we're going to add five modular scopic sections, so that's these, to make this up to 90 feet. So Troy, do you wanna show us real quickly how, uh, well real quickly, go ahead. A couple of things that you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to when you're adding sections is how your pole tubing exits the bottom of your pole. You have to feed your uh, pole tubing through your new section and then line it up. So what we do is we use the, the push fit through connections, and we'll connect them in line. You can either use, if you plan on staying at 90 feet, use a 100 foot section of zero hose. Or if you're gonna clean and drop sections as you go down, it's beneficial to have multiple sections of zero hose in 40 or 50 foot increments. And then just connect them with a push fit connector. Now we're gonna add our first extension. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your pole tubing and feed it in through and out the bottom of your first extension. Then take it, pull yourself taut. Then you wanna make sure that your top clamp is open. Your bottom clamp, is, open it and pull it down a little bit so that you've got, you don't want it too far down because if you get it too far down, you won't be able to lift the extension up. So pull it out enough that your, uh, mod, your telescopic section will fit onto this uh, extension. Close your bottom clamp. Lift your pole up. Feed your last little bit of slack through. Raise your section up and slide the extension on past your red line. Close that clamp, raise the pole up. Now lower your, your bottom part of the extension down to your stop line, push it in a little bit past, close your clamp. Set your pole down. Now, this is the part where you wanna be very mindful. You have a, a weighted object out at the end of a telescopic pole. So you gotta be very careful to balance your brush so your pole doesn't slide one way or the other. So now we're gonna add another extension. You just repeat the process. Grab your pole tubing, feed it through. Now raise your pole up, slide your extension on, close your clamp. Raise your pole. You wanna make sure your sections are tight on the clamps so that they don't slip when you add your extensions on. So now you'll pull out your bottom part of your extension. Close your clamp. So now we are at 60 feet as of right now. So we will add these uh, three other extensions here and then show you it working at uh, 90 feet. Do you notice how before I let go of my pole, I make sure that there's no bounce up in the upper part of the pole? I wanna make sure that it's still before I let go and it's not gonna go anywhere. Water on in three, two, one. All righty. We are officially at 90 feet.
you're not gonna find another pole this rigid on the market, 90 feet in this price range. Not gonna happen. I would definitely suggest using like a zero gooseneck, maybe an 18 inch brush, just having a fixed angle there so you don't have to swivel. With the swivel, it's kind of easy to kind of not lose control, but lose a little bit of the control that you can gain by just having it fixed. So kind of just to repeat what we're talking about before with the pole in my hand is that you're definitely going to want to use a fixed angle adapter not a swivel at this height you will not be able to use a univalve at this height really max height for univalve is like four, 60. 60 feet so we're at this height you don't want to do that we'll just run the zero hose through without any of things stopping water and um, that's the tips that we have so far so and, and a large brush most definitely. The more pressure that you can get on the, the actual brush to get contact, the better off you're gonna be. Let's face the facts, working at anything above 60 feet is ex extremely difficult. Yeah. It requires a lot of practice, a lot of uh, control, and a lot of care. Uh, you've got a brush extended 90 feet in the air, so it's absolutely doable and uh, no other, no other pole on the market to do it with in the Zero Destroyer. Okay, so now we'll just touch on um, bringing everything down. So I was gonna say, you wanna go through the collapsing? Yep. yep, so we're gonna touch on everything as far as just bringing it down, pretty much the same process as you were doing um, with putting it together. So first what we'll do is we'll disconnect the push to fit down here. Then what you'll do is you'll collapse the inside part Lower the pole down. It helps to walk backwards with it. Loosen your clamp. Now you're gonna walk forward and raise your pole back up. Give you some room to remove your extension. Set your pole down on the ground. Balance it. Now remove your section. Close your clamps and set your sections aside. So then we'll just keep doing that all the way until the, uh, the pole is all the way down at the 40 foot and then we'll just collapse the telescopic part of it. So after we've taken off all the extensions, right? Now we're, we're just at the standard 40 that the destroyer comes at in a telescopic uh, model. So what you're gonna do is just standard collapse your poles. Bring your clamps in, line them up nicely. There you've got it, that's the Zero Destroyer. Most rigid water fit pole on the market. All right guys, if you guys are interested in doing some higher water fed work, 60, 70, 80, even 90 foot, I suggest you look no further. Being uh, in the industry along with Steve-O for uh, a few years now and being able to work side by side with WCR, we've had the privilege of using just about every water-fed pole on the market yeah. the, from the most rigid, most expensive down to the entry levels. If you're going to do high level work, there's really three brands of poles to go with and the Destroyer is by far the best guys. It's the best pole I've used at height, it's the most rigid. It's the most durable. It's protected with its end defenders. It's just bar none the most rigid, awesome high level pole I've used to date. So if you guys have any questions, comment below and we'll be happy to help you here at Window Clean Resource. And if you're interested in purchasing it, Steve-O's the man. Yes, yes. Alrighty, have a good day. Bye.